What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys the Space Mouse. Now I got to try this out at SIGGRAPH in Vancouver last year, as you can see in the clip. And my first impression, I was really impressed with it so much that I got to talking to the team and they actually sent me out one to test out. Now they sent me out the Enterprise Kit, so it comes with the Space Mouse and the actual physical mouse as well. And so I wanted to take my time with this review because I wanted to make sure this is a product that I'm actually gonna use. And I have to say, this is probably something that I've been using a lot when I'm navigating Unreal especially since they upgraded it for Unreal Engine 5.1 and we can actually use it now in the broadcast template which is something that I often use when I'm creating an Unreal since I work in cinematics but let me give you a demonstration on how we can actually use the Space Mouse the navigator is seen here in Unreal Engine so as I alluded to before I'm in Unreal Engine 5.1 I'm using the Western scene just for our demonstration here and if I come down here to my left hand side you can see we have the Space Mouse and as I'm pushing it forward you can actually see me moving forward in our scene I'm just gonna bank over to the left here a little bit. And this is kind of like using helicopter controls. Like if you play video games, especially at like arcades, like Dave and Buster or something, it's just like navigating those type of controls there that you see. So I can bank over to my right fairly quickly. And I'm just gonna try to do like the Star Wars move, come here underneath the bridge. So if I push down on my space mouse, my moving forward, I'm getting like this cool move and it feels like you're navigating right through a spaceship or a plane or something like that. So it's very intuitive. You don't have to push it too hard. You just slightly push it forward to go forward, slightly pull it backwards. And I'm pulling it backwards. Like I'm not bending it backwards because if I bend it backwards, it's going to look straight up like that. So it has several different degrees of access on here that makes this really intuitive. Now, being able to navigate around the scene isn't the only advantage that you have here with the Space Mouse. If you look over here on my Space Mouse, you can actually see we have a couple of buttons up here as well, and these are used as shortcuts. So if I actually, if I click back in the Unreal Engine here, you can actually see it's actually going to notice that I'm in there because right now I clicked on OBS to turn it on, but let me click on Unreal boom so it automatically knows what you're working in as well so if you use some like iClone or Maya or other programs out there it's going to automatically recognize what you're working in which is extremely cool but getting back here to the shortcuts like we have these up here and these are on by default right so we have like our camera controls here so if I hit slow and I'm moving my scene here it's moving particularly slow then if I hit fast it's going to move extremely fast and then taking it back to normal like so and then down here, we also have some transform keys here. So you can click on this. It's going to give you the selection tool. We can move over to a rotational tool. So let me click on this actually. So right here, selection, rotation, and scale. Easy enough. And then over here, I switched this one out for File Explorer. But I'll show you guys how we can switch these ones out here as well. And then we also are able to control the panels. So if I want to click on this, you can see now we're in a three panel layout. Now we're in a four panel layout. And now we're back in our single panel layout. And if I hold this up here, you can see we have like the escape key, we have an enter key, we have the tab key over here, over on the right hand side, we have some screenshot keys right here. So you can take screenshots. And this is just for ease of use if you want to control some stuff here without coming off your space mouse. Now, as I alluded to earlier, you can actually come through and customize your shortcut keys like so. Now with my 3D connection panel right here, I can actually come through and select which one I want to use. So I can use the space mouse or we could use the regular mouse, the wireless mouse that they have here, but I'm going to stick with space mouse. And if I come down here to advanced settings, this is how we could change out like the navigational controls here too, which is cool. We could use the knob to control that. And then you can also change how it's going to do like your forward and back and up and down. You have complete control over everything here as well. Let me close this out. I'm going to come over here, click on buttons. And this is where we could change out the shortcut keys, right? Like before you saw that I switched out for file explorer. Let's say if I wanted to change out my low speed camera right here for something else, you just click on this and you have a whole plethora of different items that you can actually pick from. So if I come down here to Unreal editor, you can see that we have like, let's say landscape editor, you can practically change it to anything you want. So if I wanted to change this to the erase tool for the landscaping tools, there you go. And if you look down here at the space mouse, you can actually see that it actually swapped it out there and it's as easy as that. And also down here, you have some LCD settings as well. So if you want to use only icons, you could do that like so. And then it's only going to show the icons there on the screen, or you could do text only if you prefer that, or you could do icon and text like I like to use. And then for my text size, I like to use large, and then you can also control the brightness. So if I turn this down a little bit, you can see that it actually turned it down. You could make it way bright right there, or you could just have it here in the center, which I like having it a little bit below center right there like so. 
and that's going to be it so you can control anything that you want here on the space mouse and make it fully customizable for your needs now you can buy the space mouse separate or you can buy it here with the mouse that we have here as well this is a wireless mouse but i like using that wire just because i think it gives you a little bit more precision especially when you're playing video games and stuff like that but you do have the option to have it wirelessly as well so the enterprise kit does come with both or you can buy them separately so once again i want to give a big thank you to the people out there at 3d connections for sending this over to me i love meeting you guys out there at SIGGRAPH hopefully catch you out of show this year and if you're interested or have any questions for me just make sure you leave me a comment down below I try to answer any questions you might have about this particular product and until next time stay fresh keep creating and I'll catch you in the next video I see you soon take care